seven simple home remedies for a facial. Tonight we are going to be doing some facial. It's the weekend. And what do you do on the weekend? You actually take care of yourself. For most people, this is the time that you find to give yourself a little TLC. Okay. So what we're going to do tonight, we are going to share some remedies and we're going to address a different um, skincare concern. We're going to address acne, dry skin, glowing skin, dark spot, skin tightening. We're also going to address oily skin. And we're also going to address boots and collagen. So those are the seven remedies that we're going to share. As a matter of fact, we have a total of about 14. We're going to share a facial oil and we're also going to share a facial mask for each and every skin concern that we just mentioned. Welcome to the show. If you are new here, a warm welcome to you. If you're an oldies but goodies, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome our moderator, Lucy, to the show. Lucy has been helping us, um, you know, getting rid of, you know, unwanted comments <laughs> and also weeding out the bad and also providing you with answers to some of the question that you might have. So our moderator is in blue. We also have our members. Welcome to the members of the channel and our members are in green. And then we have our faithful subscribers and they are in white. Now, if you're new to my channel, what we do on um, this channel, we do a lot of skincare. We talk about, you know, facial, we talk about skin issues. We also share tips and advice and how to get not only your skin, but your overall body and all looking good. And on the live show, we normally have a topic, we discuss the topic, but we also choose to interact with each other, asking questions and giving advice and sharing some of our personal facial tips with each other. So feel free to join in the conversation. Feel free to comment. It is, however, a live show. So because it's a live show, you got to be very mindful of what you said. It's a family show, and we want to make sure that we keep within the YouTube guidelines. So once you know the rules, you keep it clean. We discuss skincare and any other issue that you might have that you want to chime in on. Go ahead and comment. Now, to comment on the show, you see the word saying, say something. That is where you type in. And also there's a thumbs up and a thumbs down button. If you want to thumbs up um, anything we talk about, give it a thumbs up. If you like the show, thumbs it up. And also we have like an emoji. You can give us an emoji to show your support. There's a dollar sign. If you want to contribute something, you can actually click on it. If you have a burning question and you want me to answer that question, you can also click on the dollar sign if you click on the dollar sign you contribute something your question will be highlighted and i will be able to see it much faster than if you just comment but no pressure and clicking on the dollar sign go ahead and ask your question so how many of you here are really and truly taking care of your skin on a regular like overall how many of you are really committed to your skincare routine how many of you are struggling with skin concern such as acne or even blackheads and whitehead or scars on the skin how many of you have dry skin how many of you have oily skin how many of you are looking to get rid of wrinkles on the skin how many of you are just have looking to get just a little glow to the skin how many of you are looking to tighten it up the sagging the skin is getting sagging and you're just looking for a remedy or some tips and how to tighten the skin now if you have any of these issues you are at the right place because that's what we're going to talk about and we are going to dive in let's welcome some members and some subscribers and then we're going to dive into number one for number one we're going to start with acne so get your acne questions ready and also remember adults also do have acne on the skin so get your acne questions ready and we're going to dive in after we just shout out some members and some subscribers 
Hi, Jill. Welcome to the show. We have a Karen. Welcome. We also have Magdalene. How are you all doing? And we also have Golden Child, Cynthia. We are, who else is here? And Magdalene. I just mentioned Magdalene. Now we have our faithful members. We have um, Keisha. I saw Keisha earlier on. We also have who else is here that I am um, seeing in my view? Um, Locket regular on the show these days we also have paula cottrell marian um margaret welcome always on and now we have a new person on the show um no i think you were on recently and that is one taylor welcome to the show now if you're watching don't be afraid to comment if you want to get a shout out also comment if you do not comment we cannot give you a shout out because i'm not able to see who is on the show unless you comment so now we're going to dive into acne 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 this is a concern for many and i do know that the younger crowd tend to ask most of these questions and that is why we're going to just get it out of the way now when it comes down to acne there are many home remedies that you can try on the skin however all these recipes that we're going to share tonight all these tips that we're going to share the very base for getting the best result from your skincare routine and from your skincare products is to make sure that you start off by taking care of the skin so let's just run through a few simple things that you need to do to your skin to begin with the first thing you need to do is to always remember to wash your skin, whether you're washing your face, your neck, and your decollete, your entire body. And that you can do at least once or twice a day. For face, however, I suggest you wash your face at least two times per day, regardless of your age or regardless of your skin concern. Now, when it comes on to exfoliate in the skin i suggest that you exfoliate your skin at least two to three times per week regardless of your con skin concern now bear in mind that depending on what is going on on your skin there are different ways and different ingredients and different remedies that you can use to exfoliate the skin and the third thing that you need to do to the skin is to make sure to wear your skincare products you are going to wear skincare products that is geared towards your skin concern now once we get that out of the way then we can try these remedies now for acne prone skin i have a very 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 unique remedy that you can use to get rid of acne once your skin is clean this remedy used on a regular will help to clear the acne up tremendously now we have tea tree oil and tea tree oil is an essential oil but it do have antibacterial properties we also have ojoba oil and ojoba oil is one of the better oil the lighter oil that can use an acne prone skin the reason for that is that it contains rinse Linolenic acid and also linolenic acid. This will not clog the pores at all, making it a great oil for not only acne prone skin but also people with you know large pores on the skin. Now we also have aloe vera gel, and aloe vera gel is one ingredient that can use on most skin type. It also has antibacterial properties. It has vitamin C and it helps to clear hyperpigmentation. Not only that, it helps to get rid of grease and dirt from the skin and it's very, very hydrating to the skin. So you're going to mix a, um, a tablespoon of ojoba oil with a tablespoon of aloe vera gel and you're gonna add about five to six drops of tea tree oil to that when you blend all of that it's gonna be a leave on and this is for people with acne prone skin but if you have that special time when you tend to get these little pimples popping up out of nowhere on your skin you can also use this remedy so one tablespoon of ojoba oil um, one tablespoon of aloe vera gel and for this recipe you can choose to use either the store-bought aloe vera gel or you can choose to use the fresh aloe vera gel however I prefer the store-bought aloe vera gel for the leave-on remedies because it then to have a longer shelf life so a tablespoon aloe vera gel a tablespoon of over oil five to six drops of tea tree oil apply that and clean skin nightly 
for your acne skin this will have to dry that acne up tremendously because of the antibacterial properties now we have a facial mask that can help to dry your acne up really really quick also we're gonna be using a charcoal and charcoal contains absorbing properties but it have vital minerals that it's gonna to help to get rid of the the, the, the the bacteria in the skin. So you're gonna take a little bit of a charcoal, you don't need a lot, just a teaspoon of charcoal, and you're gonna mix a paste with that with a teaspoon of honey. That you're gonna apply on the skin. If you need it to be a little bit more spreadable, just take a teaspoon of water, dissolve the honey in the water, and then you pour it in the charcoal. Use that on the skin as a facial mask and leave it on. It's gonna get rid of the bacteria, suck out all of the sebum from the skin. The charcoal is very, very drying and that is what also makes it great for oily skin. So that is your remedy for acne prone skin. A very, very simple remedy, but very effective. So you have the leave on treatment, which is the over oil, the aloe vera gel and the tea tree oil. And you also have the charcoal plus honey. Now, if you're watching, you have any other remedy for acne prone skin, go ahead and comment. Those are the two recipes that I have for you. However, the other ingredient, another recipe that you can use for acne prone skin, and this one I also use for eczema, is to take a teaspoon of sulfur, and you can mix that sulfur with the honey, just like you did with the charcoal. This is good for like severe acne, and use that on the skin. Leave it on for at least an hour, and you can choose to use this every other day. It will help to dry the acne me up but you got to use it on a regular works like a charm okay now other ingredients that you can use for acne prone skin are rosemary rosemary also have antibacterial properties you can choose to use the rosemary oil or you can just get the fresh rosemary and I like this a lot you can get the fresh rosemary you can blend the fresh like a bunch of fresh rosemary blend it with a little bit of a water and then you boil some water pour it on the fresh rosemary cover it leave it overnight and use that to wash your face if you have acne prone skin that is a good facial wash that is going to clear the acne up because of its antibacterial properties really amazing now there's a third ingredient that you can use for acne now some people do not like this one it also helps a lot and this is garlic now if you're gonna use the garlic I suggest that you crush that garlic you had a little bit of a honey to the garlic and the rosemary that we just mentioned you can take a little bit of that rosemary water mix it with that garlic now I do not suggest you wear this more than about 30 minutes or so on the skin and for the garlic recipe I do not expect you to rub it all over your skin I suggest that you take a q-tip you dip it in and you spot treat wherever you have those acne scar and for those of you with the the I the once in a while pimple on the skin this is a good remedy so you're gonna be using the garlic some rosemary water or no rosemary water just use regular water and you are gonna mix that with a little bit of a honey and use it on your pimples have to clear the pimples up tremendously if you have another remedy for acne go ahead and share it with us and if you're just joining we just gave a few remedies that you can use on your acne prone skin we you can mix the oba with aloe vera gel and some tea tree oil you can use some charcoal with honey mix it to a paste for your skin you can also use some um, sulfur mix in a paste with honey apply it leave it for 30 minutes and rinse off and we also share a face wash that you can make using rosemary and rosemary is the herb that you use to cook with now someone is gonna ask about dry rosemary dry rosemary also works for this remedy now if you're using the dry I suggest that when your water start to boil up you know the green one I suggest you boil the water you pour it on and set it aside for the dry rosemary you're gonna let the water boil up and as soon as the water stop boiling you dunk that dry rosemary in and cover and let it simmer so you can use either fresh or you can use dry which one do I prefer for this facial wash I prefer the fresh rosemary but I know some people don't have access to the fresh now if you have any question go ahead and ask right now and then we're gonna move on to dry skin 
Um, Miriam, JJ, I want to ask a question for a family member. She have bad eczema, especially in her face, and it looked really bad. Can you tell me something for the eczema, please? And I could tell you are new, um, a little bit new, because you might not be aware that that was my skin um, concern growing up. The recipe I just gave with the sulfur and the honey, that is what actually helped me write you in my childhood with the eczema and I do have a recipe on my channel showing you how to use the sulfur now you have sulfur soap and you can get that like an Amazon that's like the new thing you can actually get the sulfur soap and use it or you can get the sulfur powder and just a teaspoon of sulfur powder with a teaspoon of honey and you can add a little milk in it but just apply it make it to a paste and apply if it you know all over the skin or just use it wherever you need it but you got to use it all the time and before you know it it's gonna help tremendously now remember everyone's skin is different but this is a recipe that I share with with the world because it actually add works for me right now I still have sulfur in my home and I've been sharing this recipe like you know a lot because most people give it a go and get a really good result okay all right Sandra good night how to finish dark spots and most like you're asking how to get rid of it we're gonna get to that what about apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar a lot of people use it as a facial toner we get to the apple cider vinegar in a minute so Lucy just post the mixture and um Judeline um Judeline are Judeline I think that's how you pronounce it I love your skincare advice I learned a lot thank you for that and make up forever how are you welcome all right so no one is asking any question about acne that is the reason why I use the I you know started out with the acne because I know most of you not so much however my mailbox is filled with question and acne not necessarily from my subscribers but from you know the younger crowd okay all right, so we are moving on, and I am doing well. Um, Fatumata, I'm doing very well. Dry skin. Dry skin is another concern. How many of you out there feel like you have dry skin? And dry skin meaning that it doesn't matter what time of the day, your skin is just a feeling dry. Now, how do you get dry skin? that is from not your skin not producing enough oil and the oil that the skin produce is known as a, a sebum now sebum can be good and it can be bad if your skin is not producing enough sebum then your skin is going to be dry now there are many ways to get rid of dry skin but the very first step that i would like to share is that you need to hydrate your skin some people tend to have dry skin only in the winter because if you live somewhere where you got to use the eating system in the house that can dry your skin up a good tip is to sleep with a glass of water or a little bowl of water in your room regardless even if you have the humidifier going on that will help with dry skin and that's for people who have temporary dry skin here or there another thing too is to make sure to drink enough water this can help the skin tremendously regardless of your skin type now for dry skin you need to put back the moisture in the skin now some people have dry skin and they have other kids skin concern you might have dry skin and you are sensitive you have sensitive skin okay for those of you with dry sensitive skin it's very uh, very important that you be very mindful of the products that you use on the skin one word that you need to look for on products when you are you know picking up um, skincare product is alcohol if you have dry skin you do not need that on your skin so whatever it is you're gonna apply to the skin turn it over and make sure all the way down to the bottom of the ingredient list make sure there's no alcohol in the product now the once that is done you are good to go you need a, a very very rich oil for your dry skin a rich oil that's gonna lock the moisture in the skin when your skin is dry the all the water is escaping from the skin so you need something to stop that water from escaping from the skin okay so you are gonna use something like coconut oil coconut oil is an oil that 
most people think clog the pores but it don't really clog the pores what is does is that it block the pores and allow the water to stay in the skin so if your pores were already dirty with grease and dirt and you use a coconut oil over the skin that is why people tend to break out okay People break out because the pores were dirty. The pores already have all the grease and all the sebum. And when you apply the coconut oil, that is the reaction that happened. And also, you cannot use like coconut oil on the skin and you do not wash your face. If you're going to use coconut oil twice a day, you wash your face. And also, it's best to wash with warm water or room temperature water, but not cold water coconut oil on the skin another thing that people complain a lot about is like petroleum jelly some people think that petroleum jelly break is break out their skin that is because it's locked the moisture in the skin and when products that products that lock the moisture in the skin are also known as humectant so when you note when you go out there in the skincare world and people throw around the word humectant what it simply mean is that whatever they're talking about whatever skincare products lock that moisture in the skin we have coconut oil we have olive oil we also have other oils that are not really thick oil but do the job of a thick oil and some of these oils are like sweet almond oil and you also have grapeseed oil grapeseed oil is a light oil it go deep into the pores but you can use it and dry skin this one I recommend for sensitive skin however please be mindful that this is from the grapefruit seed so always patch test if you have any you know skin concern going on always test everything that you put on your skin now here is a recipe for dry skin and this is a facial mask if you have dry skin a quick and easy and a very simple home remedy for your face is some avocado you're gonna use about a tinted slice and notice I said thin slice because whenever I make recipe with avocado people tend to think oh you're wasting the avocado all you need is just a slice of the avocado and you are gonna add a little bit of a rose water to that and then you're gonna reach for some milk so let's say an ounce of avocado to one tablespoon not a tablespoon might be too much depending on the thickness of the avocado so a half teaspoon of rose water and a teaspoon of milk milk avocado and rose water put all of that in a blender blend it up or if you have a fork just crush it up together and you're gonna rub that on your face it's a facial mask but I suggest you apply it on your face with your hands rub it on your face and your neck and you leave it on for 30 minutes very 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 good for dry skin good substitute for avocado is the good old papaya so you can use either papaya or you can use avocado for dry skin a very effective facial mask for dry skin DIY home remedy now let's do a quick oil blend for dry skin remember we're using oils that lock that moisture in the skin so we're gonna use avocado oil okay now avocado oil olive oil coconut oil all these oil can be used and dry skin you're gonna add a special oil to it which is the rosehip oil and rosehip oil I've been doing so much research on rosehip oil and I came across something today that I actually didn't know you know I know rosehip oil is rich in vitamin A vitamin C and vitamin E but I didn't really know that rosehip oil also have to clear spots and blemishes from the skin found that in my research and I was like hmm yeah it makes sense because it is rich in vitamin C so you're gonna use some avocado oil um, a tablespoon of avocado oil a teaspoon of the rosehip oil and here comes the other oil which is olive oil why are we bl blending olive oil with avocado oil for dry skin because the olive oil is a little thicker and it's also stay on the skin much much longer than the avocado oil Blending avocado oil and olive oil together with a little rosehip oil is not only going to take care of your dry skin, but it's going to smooth the skin, get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines, and once used on a regular, will get your skin to look younger and fresher. I personally love this combination of oils, okay? If you have dry skin, and guess what? This oil blend is good to use on your entire body.
this oil blend is not only good for your face and your neck but your entire body so if you have dry skin that's the mix for you and here is a big tip you can actually make this tree blend and you can pour this in your body lotion or you can just squeeze your body lotion take two to three drops of this oil blend mix it up and use it on the skin it will take your body lotion to the next level I suggest for dry skin as soon as you step out of the shower do not walk around and wait for the water to completely dry from your skin go ahead and apply your facial products and your body products right away damp skin applying your products will work better than if you leave it to dry if you have any question and dry skin go ahead if you're just joining we just share a few recipes for acne prone skin now we're sharing dry skin recipes remedies that can take your skin to the next level just seven simple remedies for your facial concern question 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 um MSH88 key. Question Do I need two concussion, a 30 minutes mask, and a leave on? I listen out for a slightly darker under the eyes and the cheek. Collagen boots and tiny. By the way, I have normal skin. All right, let me dissect your question. You need two concussion. That's what you need. Ask. Yes, whatever you're using, you're using a facial mask and you're using a leave on. The leave on are like the oil blend. Now, the facial mask, you don't have to use it every day. You can use it two to three times per week. However, like an avocado facial mask, it's safe to use every day. So, you use the mask and when you rinse off, you apply your oil or your beauty product so rinse off of number one concussion you use it you rinse off in 30 minutes and then you reach for the oil which is a leave on all the oil blend that I'm sharing tonight you're gonna leave them on and most of them you can use a.m. and p.m. but if you weren't going to get the best in result use them preferably at night when your skin is really resting that's question number one and I'm listening out for the okay so there goes the cops okay so you are listening out for the under eyes and the cheek and the collagen so continue listening and continue until we get to those with next coming up is gonna be glowing skin and then we're gonna have um, dark spots and then we're gonna have skin tightening so continue watching Margaret what's the olive oil measurement for dry skin so for the olive oil one teaspoon of olive oil one tablespoon of grapeseed oil where did we have that okay one tablespoon of grapeseed oil and a, tea, a teaspoon of rose oil you can either choose to add a little more olive oil or a little less okay you can add more or you can add less but or you can do half and half how um, a tablespoon of olive oil to a tablespoon of the grapeseed oil okay but because you don't want it depending on how much of a moisture that you need in the skin all right so if you feel like you need it to be thicker and richer had more olive oil than the grapeseed oil but if you need a balance where your skin is getting the best remedy without feeling all over greasy then you go half and half or one tablespoon of the grapeseed to one teaspoon of the olive oil okay um, any other question one how to remove dark circles under the eyes and we get this question every day and the honest truth is I'm not gonna leave the show without giving a dark circle remedy so continue watching we're gonna get that there in a few minutes all right Juliana how are you welcome Yolanda can I apply around the eyes and I know once one person asks about the eyes everyone is gonna go and yes all the oils that we mentioned that we're gonna share today can also use under your eyes but if you want a special blend of oils for your under eyes and your dark circles we have a lot of videos on that we're gonna pull up one in a few minutes but wait for some tips and how to take care of your under eyes now any question for dry skin go ahead and ask because we're gonna move on to glowing skin if you have a question for dry skin Go ahead and ask it right now and I'm searching and I don't see any dry skin questions so we are gonna move on I'm using a little castor oil rose oil and vitamin E oil and it's working really nice that's a very good combination of oil the rose oil rich in vitamin A the castor oil rich in rinsalilic acid and the vitamin E will have to hydrate the skin the fact that you had 
the rose hip and the vitamin E to the castor oil will make it be a little bit more spreadable. When it comes on to the castor oil, always you know use a carrier oil. So your blend right now, depending on the amount of rose hip oil that you're using, could be a little thick, and that is also good for dry skin. You can also choose to add another carrier oil if you want it to be a little lighter on the skin, like a little almond oil or even the grapeseed oil or even some sweet almond oil okay very good recipe lady b channel thank you for the last tip it's really working i need remedy for glowing skin and that's what we're going to talk about so that's the perfect question we are going to tell you how you can use natural remedies simple remedies to get your skin looking all glowing now i gotta deep dive a little deeper into glowing skin now glowing skin don't happen overnight if you want your skin to glow it means that it's going to take work everyone can take a product or oil and apply it to the skin and it's going to look shiny but is your skin glowing there are four simple steps that you need to take for glowing skin number one you got to wash your face on a regular number two you got to exfoliate your face on a regular skin on a whole number three you're gonna use a good skin brightening facial mask or facial um, serum or anything that is rich in vitamin C and number four you gotta apply your skincare products on a regular that is the way to glowing skin it doesn't matter how rough your skin is looking right now it doesn't matter how dull your skin is looking you can actually achieve glowing skin once you do those in your routine you wash twice a day you exfoliate three to four times per week you wear a skin brightening facial mask and you make sure to apply your beauty product and massaging them in the skin now once you can do that on a regular here I have a facial mask which is the skin brightening a facial mask now when we talk about skin brightening we're not talking about only darker skin tone people we're talking about every color across the board because everyone regardless of your skin type do have a dull skin okay and now once we get that out of the way now let's talk about the facial mask for this facial mask I'm gonna share two and the reason for two is because one ingredient that I'm gonna use in the first mask some people are a little skeptical about it but I'm gonna tell you how to use it without it staining we're gonna use turmeric powder in all of the own remedies and all of the natural remedies ingredients that you can find out there one of the best skin brightener is a turmeric regardless of your skin color now some people tend to be like oh you know I'm lighter I'm Caucasian the skin the turmeric stain no if you use the turmeric the way I'm gonna share it with you it will not stain your skin okay so you need and you don't need a lot of turmeric and this is another problem that most people have they think that you need a lot of turmeric for it to be effective for one facial mask all you need is about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of turmeric powder no more than that you don't need a tablespoon of turmeric powder because you're really gonna make a mess it's a little dash of turmeric powder for your facial mask so a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon depending on your face if you're gonna take it all the way down the neck and the decollete go with a teaspoon of turmeric powder you're gonna get some aloe vera gel for this recipe, I suggest the fresh aloe vera gel. If you don't have the fresh, it's okay. Go ahead and use the store bought, but I prefer the fresh aloe vera gel. You're going to put that aloe vera gel in the blender, and you're going to pour your little teaspoon of turmeric powder in it. You're going to grab some milk. If you're vegan, soy milk works like a charm for this. If not, go ahead and use your regular milk. You're going to take a tablespoon of milk. Now, remember, you're going to get some liquid from the aloe vera gel blend all of that up and it's gonna come out really creamy and really nice and you're gonna use that to wash your face yes wash your face in circular motion face neck and decollete once you wash your face with it if you have the time leave it on the skin let it dry for about 30 minutes and then you're gonna rinse off this is one remedy regardless of your skin um, tone 
you'll see instant result once you do it the right way now how do you prevent the turmeric from you know staining you can brew the turmeric how do you brew the turmeric you take the half or the one teaspoon of turmeric get some hot water no more than a teaspoon or a tablespoon of hot water pour it on that turmeric powder let it sit for about five minutes and then you use it in your remedies you mix it with the olive berry gel you mix it with the milk and that is going to prevent it from leaving a stain on the skin try it like that another ingredient that you can use to cut down on the stain is lemon zest or orange zest it helps to mutualize all of that coloring that you have in the turmeric powder so using this mask on your skin two to three times per week will help your skin to look cleaner clearer and brighter and here is an oil blend that you can use to get you to glow in skin in no time you need some carrot oil and someone was asking about carrot oil on the chat today you know um the different acid and vitamins in carrot oil carrot oil is good for your hair your nails and your skin on a whole and you're gonna mix a tablespoon of carrot oil with a teaspoon of Hargan oil and you can add a little vitamin E oil to that mix it up use it on your skin at night and upon arising in the morning you rinse off and do your regular daytime skincare routine really really good to glow in skin however to get the best result from this turmeric mask and oil blend you got to take care of the four steps that I just mentioned washing exfoliating and also doing this turmeric mask and also using your skincare product always remember to spritz on a facial toner a facial serum and a facial moisturizer or the oil blend that we just shared if you have any other question about glowing skin go ahead and ask and if you're just joining what did you miss you mix miss the remedies for acne for dry skin and now you're right on time for the glowing skin any question on glowing skin go ahead and ask and we are gonna move on to dark spots out the remedy to get rid how much aloe vera if you're using fresh aloe vera about two ounces is good An ounce to two ounces you know how I normally make my show with just a little bit because I keep it real you know you don't have to use the entire leaf of aloe vera blend it up no for facial all you need is a little piece a little two ounces of the fresh aloe vera gel and drop that in the blender and blend it okay all right any other question go ahead for um, glowing skin and most people want their skin to have that you know kind of a glow to it and when we talk about glowing we're not talking about your skin is um, bleaching out or no that's not what we talk about we're talking about just looking at a person's skin regardless of their skin tone and you can see that natural glow without makeup or anything the skin just have this nice look to it that is what we're calling a glowing skin we're not talking about the skin like me I put a little highlighter here that's not what we're talking about we're talking about clean skin no makeup on bare skin and you look at the skin and you can see it looking healthy okay healthy that's what we're talking and that's what we're calling glowing skin just clean and clear and free from pigmentation okay if you have any question go ahead and ask now if you're watching and you like the topic and you like you know the chat so far go ahead and give the video a thumbs up that is how you support the channel you support the channel by thumbs in the video up you also support in the channel if you stand you watch for at least three minutes okay when you're watching the live show for it to be effective you know your views count and all of that for the support watch us for at least three minutes I would love for you to watch the entire show and ask questions and participate but I do know sometimes you have other things to do but give us at least three minutes of your time really help five minutes to the max um, five minutes would be even, even better and ask your question even if you're running in for five minutes come in listen ask a question you know just show some love to the live chat um, Catherine thank you much and for the leave-in what are the three oils with um, vitamin D carrot oil and 
the three oil for the leave in for which remedy are you talking well the fact that you mentioned carrot oil it means for glowing skin is argan oil um a r g a n argan oil and that is also good for hair and nails and you have carrot oil and do it do have vitamin d it also have vitamin a and vitamin c and you could add a little bit of a vitamin e oil to the mixture amazing for the skin overall all right so any other question for glowing skin when your skin glow it's a picture of uh, yes definitely it is if you have any other question for glowing skin go ahead and ask because now we're going to move on to dark spots now if you're out there and you have this is like the most common one where most people tend to have some form of a pigmentation going on on the skin so for dark spots Remedies for dark spots. We have a wide variety of remedies that you can use to get rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin. If you're new to the channel, let's talk a little bit about um, hyperpigmentation. We tend to throw this word around a lot. It's either we're saying hyperpigmentation or we're saying pigmentation. Now, when we mention pigmentation or hyperpigmentation, what we're simply saying is spots and blemishes on the skin. Whatever is going on on the skin is pigmentation once it have a little darker area than the rest of your skin. So if you have a little acne marking that is dark spots, acne scars, if something scratch you, like me, I have indents on my forehead, all of that fall on the hyperpigmentation. However, most of the time, you know, people tend to use the word hyperpigmentation and then they list what hyperpigmentation is nothing is wrong with that but some people read it different thinking hyperpigmentation is different from dark spots and blemishes and acne scars and all of that no they all fall under that umbrella hyperpigmentation or pigmentation so now that that is out of the way we are going to share a recipe that will help to get rid of pigmentation regardless if it's acne scars dark spots and blemishes scrapes or scratches um what else people have textured skin this remedy is for you i like potato for this remedy and we're talking about irish potato some people call it white potato now you're going to take a half of a medium potato you're going to either grate the potato or you're going to blend the potato if you don't have a blender go ahead and grate it now for this remedy you are going to take some the good old turmeric powder again and we are using the turmeric powder because it is one of the better natural ingredients to get rid of pigmentation on the skin. However, the potato is right up there with it because it contains an ingredient known as catecholase. Now, when you mix the potato and the turmeric powder, that is like a double whammy. Okay, so you're going to mix the two together and you're going to get some lemon juice. Lemon juice is rich in vitamin C and not a great ingredient to use for pigmentation on the skin. So you blend that potato with a half a teaspoon of the turmeric powder. You can choose to use the lemon zest and in this you can also choose to use a dash of the lemon juice. You don't need a lot, especially if you have sensitive skin. You don't need a lot of lemon juice on the skin. I prefer to use lemon zest because lemon zest contains the lemon oil. So it's not as harsh on the skin as the juice. However, and also the lemon zest, is richer in vitamin C. So either lemon zest, lemon juice, or even some dried orange peel powder for this recipe. Half of a medium potato, and you're gonna use a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, uh, about a dash of lemon juice, or a half a teaspoon of lemon zest. Blend that all up together. Use it to wash your face, okay? Use it to rub all over your face and neck. Just rub it in for about three minutes or so, and then let it sit on the skin for about 30 minutes, and then you're gonna rinse off. If you are looking to get rid of the hyperpigmentation really, really fast, do this for seven days for a week, and then cut it down to two to three times a week. Test it. Prove it for yourself and see what happened. It will help, but you got to use it. Now, none of, none of these remedies that we're sharing, they're not magic, but they're tried, tested, and proven. I've been doing YouTube, sharing these remedies with you for, I think I'm on my fifth year now, 
but skincare remedies run about four years or so if you look across YouTube you're gonna see a lot of my videos which you know people take my videos they make them over put a twist to it but if you want to know who the original is you just look at the date I don't mind people sharing the recipes now I say that to say these remedies works on the skin that is the reason why most people are trying them that's the reason why when you post these natural remedies the videos tend to really appeal to a wide variety of people now all the remedies I'm sharing tonight are remedies that have received thousands of emails without even I exaggerating about how well they works on the skin so this I fine-tune for you guys to make to get the best of the best for faster result so if you have any question about the dark spot remover remedy that we just share go ahead and ask right now Maxine better late than never Laurent, um, welcome um, what about wrinkles on your face we're gonna get to that what can you do for a sunspot on my forehead you can actually use the aloe vera gel with the avocado blend to use on your face or you can use fresh aloe vera gel just rub it, blend it, rub it on the skin, and leave it there with a little vitamin E. That will help to get rid of suntan, and not only that, smooth um, sunburn on the skin. All right, so we're done with dark. Um, can I combine banana, avocado, turmeric, and cucumber? Yes, you can. For this recipe, I would leave the cucumber out. I like to mix the banana with the avocado, and banana is also another um ingredient that is good for pigmentation on the skin you can mix the banana with the turmeric you can mix the banana with the avocado any two blend combined is good i would leave the cucumber out of this but the combination is still just as good um get rid of the cucumber and add a little milk to it that's gonna even kick it up a notch or get rid of the cucumber and add a little lemon zest or orange zest for the cucumber though if you want a really good refreshing facial blend that cucumber with some milk nice really make it after you do the banana thing and another day just do that for smoothing the skin and give you that freshness to the skin <laughs> i'm just laughing at lucy comment all right so if you're just joining we're giving seven remedies we're almost at the end right now we're gonna go to skin tightening and this one is one of my favorite tightening the skin I like when my skin is tight and firm now we're gonna race through this one really really quick when we're talking about skin tightening we're talking about reducing wrinkles on the face giving your skin a younger appearance now if you have wrinkles on the forehead wrinkles on your upper lips your parentheses are very very dark your skin is sagging a bit like your chin is dropping down you want it to be a little tighter this is what we're calling skin tightening right across the board you already know that the egg white work almost immediately for temporary that is but if you use it on a regular on a regular on a regular and massage the skin it will help now i also like the potato mask for skin tightening and i also like some good clay mask for skin tightening all of these when you're trying to tighten the skin you need to leave on for at least 30 minutes the trick with tightening the skin is use a good skin tightening mask and then do a good facial massage facial massage works hand in hand with the skin tightening remedies if you want to see fast results so here is a quick and easy but a very effective remedy that you can use to tighten your skin at home you're going to use the potato starch if you're new to my channel you might not know how to make the potato starch pretty easy peel out white potato um, or grate it and peel it grate it or peel it blend it so extract the juice and set it aside for about an hour or two when you've done go back strain off the top at the bottom you're gonna see potato starch you can also get potato starch to buy in your favorite supermarket regarding we're depending on where you live but if you live somewhere you can't get it to buy make it like I just said now you're gonna take that potato starch you're gonna mix it with the egg white this is I'm telling you this is the effective one this is the crumb of the crop that I'm sharing mixing it with one egg white so one egg white to a tablespoon of the potato starch this can give you three application 
and blend that all together and add a little milk to it for the hydrating properties and then you're gonna apply it on your face your neck give it a go leave it on 30 minutes it's gonna dry on the skin and it's gonna make your skin feel really tight as a matter of fact I have so many remedies using that but I'm gonna make over this one this week promise I'm gonna make over this one make the potato remedy all right, so the potato with the egg white, I'm gonna make it over for you guys. So I have a lot of new people. You can go and watch a video where I use the potato and the egg, but I have a twist to it that just came to my mind that I'm gonna share with you later on. So that is it, the potato and the egg white and a little bit of a milk. And if you can deal with the scent of the egg, you can add a little bit of a essential oil. The best essential oil would be the tea tree oil, and I don't like that smell either. So you know what? Tip a little bit of a lemon zest in it and use it to tighten the skin. How often should you use this remedy? Two to three times a week for best results. You have a special occasion going to? four times for the week start a month before or two weeks before so that when you get to that day your skin would look tight massage 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 okay every time you apply your beauty product massage the skin upwards upwards watch a good youtube facial video massaging the skin you're on your way to tighter firmer skin a good oil for skin tightening is rosy mixed with um sweet almond oil and vitamin e and we also have this other oil i don't use it much on my channel is emo emo that is another good oil another oil that i personally like a lot is the bachi oil for skin tightening so use up the bachi oil and mix it with some rose hip. you can also mix it with squalene when it comes on to um skin tightening facial oil we have a lot on the channel because i use that a lot so i'm always making it so if you want to know how to use my channel page click on my face it's gonna below the video it's gonna take you to my channel page go on my channel page and i have a folder with oils in it just scroll through and do one that you have all the ingredients okay really really work these are remedies that i personally use on my skin to tighten and firm and give my skin a natural glow someone use tomato banana and cucumber if that is okay so you're using oats and tomato banana and cucumber is that I don't know why tell me why you like to use the, the cucumber I'm, I'm a little skeptical with how I make the cucumber nothing is wrong with that though nothing is wrong because the cucumber also have the excess hydrating hydration from the water but banana and oatmeal is good together with a little honey for the cucumber as I said I would mix like cucumber with milk or and mix cucumber with like orange peel or for some reason just the the, the mixture of the fruits you know I prefer to do to well cucumber I prefer to do with citrus fruit and tomato with the oatmeal I like that is actually very very good with a little bit of uh, on it but if you want I don't know for some reason the vegetable with the tomato and the oatmeal the cucumber just show show me off but you can use it and let me see as a matter of fact i'm going to try it for myself and see if i like it the combination of cucumber tomato and oatmeal i'm definitely going to try it and i'm going to come back and tell you if i like the mix okay bachi oil is good to use around the eyes also yes it is bachi oil is on the stronger side so you can add a little vitamin e blend it together and dab it under the eyes should i alternate this for the potato starch egg white skin tightening and skin pigmentation yes definitely yes definitely yes definitely definitely yes okay so tonight you do this tomorrow you do that skip a day next day you do that and this is a remedy that you got to use all the time okay all right so we are moving on to oily skin this is another biggie and this is number six oily skin a lot of you have oily skin now when it comes on to oily skin what really causes oily skin oily skin your skin is producing too much oil too much oil it's like the skin thing that is dry for dry skin little to no oil for oily skin it just keep kicking out oil kick it out oil most people with oily skin have large and large pores most people with oily skin will have blackheads and whiteheads and pimples and all of that because the pores are clogged 
for oily skin people I suggest that you practice the steam your face I didn't talk about steaming tonight but everyone should really be steaming but for oily skin people steam your face now you're gonna use oil on your skin and I if you're new I'm gonna explain why when you use oil on the skin it trick your skin into thinking that it have oil and it slow the oil production down so that's why oily skin people need to use oil on the skin however if you have oily skin you're gonna look for the lighter oils that will not clog the pores okay you're gonna look for light oils that will not clog the pores the um, grapeseed oil is one I shared every day on the channel but I also discover cucumber seed oil cucumber seed oil is another oil that will not clog the pores okay so use the cucumber seed oil use the grape seed oil too light oil another oil that I came across recently um, for some reason it just went right over my head but anyway the cucumber if I remember before the show is over I'm going to share it with you but the cucumber seed oil and the grape seed oil are two very very light oil that you can use if you have oily skin if you have combination skin and midway to that the sweet almond oil works like a charm also okay you can blend the grape seed oil with a little bit two to three drops of the cucumber seed oil and use it it just sink right into the skin not gonna leave a greasy feel at all now here is the remedy for oily skin oatmeal flour rice these are three base ingredient for your facial mask the oatmeal of absorbent properties the flour of absorbent properties and the rice also have absorbent properties absorbent properties meaning it's gonna get rid of the excess oil on the skin so you're gonna mix some oatmeal and uh, blend your oatmeal to a powder even if you're using it to exfoliate the skin once you blend it to a powder you for one application one tablespoon of oatmeal you're gonna use a dash of lemon juice and you're gonna use some honey and a little bit of a milk you're gonna make that into a paste you're gonna exfoliate your skin with it and then you leave it on the skin to dry for 30 minutes works like a charm substitute the oatmeal with some flour substitute the flour with some rice blend the rice also to a powder and that is what you should do notice for the oily skin I use some lemon juice you can use grapefruit juice or you can even use uh, some orange juice these have citric acid and the citric acid will also help to cut the grease from the skin okay now a good oil blend which I mentioned earlier I already share the oil blend which is grapeseed oil and if you have oily skin you also can use a little bit of a uh, vitamin E oil now let's go on to our final remedy final simple natural remedy and this is boots in collagen boots in collagen goes hand in hand with wrinkles on the skin all right it's also one of my favorite topic boots in the collagen I like that if you're new to the channel you might not be aware of what we're talking about with boots in collagen as you age the skin tends to lose its firmness it tends to lose its elasticity what gives the skin the firmness and the tightness is collagen you can get collagen from the food that you eat or you can get collagen from special oils you can do you can apply collagen topically on the skin which will also penetrate deep into the skin and help to speed to speed up the collagen production or you can eat your green leaf vegetables your bone broth and all of that good stuff to have with your skin to look tight and firm so here is a good recipe for boots and collagen I like to use clay and you're gonna use any form of a clay whether it's full as earth whether green clay brown clay any clay make sure you don't dig it yourself you get one that has actually gone through the process that is that makes it safe for your skin now you're gonna mix that clay with some carrot juice you can even mix that clay with some um, beetroot juice you can mix that clay with some grapefruit juice it doesn't matter the trick to this one is the clay you can also mix it with milk soy milk or regular milk and you're gonna use some good old aloe vera gel in it we're back to the aloe vera gel because it hydrates the skin it really really works on the skin so uh, when you're making your clay mask is a little bit okay because it's very very absorbing all you need for your clay mask is a teaspoon a teaspoon of clay mask 
to a teaspoon of the liquid which is would be the milk or the carrot juice or the grapefruit juice or whatever liquid a good one is green tea though you can brew some green tea and mix it with your clay mask I like that because the green tea have wrinkle fighting properties okay and you're gonna get a tablespoon of the olive oil gel you blend all of that up together and you're using it on your face as a mask because of this clay, it's gonna dry on the skin. This is also good for oily skin, but it's good to boost the collagen, tighten the skin, and use that like two to three times a week, rinse off, and you're on your way to a more firmer, more tighter. You need the tightness on the skin. Now here comes the oil blend, and this we have a wide variety because this is you know right up my alley, and these are what I use, okay, to tighten my skin. Here are some oil. You can mix all of these together. You can mix any two of these together. And if you're not sure about a good collagen boots in oil, check my channel page out because we have a lot, a really good blend. Okay. Here are some good. Before we go, let me give you another facial mask that is hydrating that can help to boost the collagen. You can use some papaya or you can use some avocado, any other two, or you can even mix the two together and blend them crush them out nicely and then you are gonna add a little bit of either some green tea water or some coffee liquid to it blend it nice and use it on the skin that is not only gonna help for the firmness but it's also gonna help to hydrate the skin and smooth the wrinkles and fine lines these remedies I like a lot I personally use them on my skin now let's talk about the leave-on remedy for boots in remedies for boots in collagen we have vitamin A you can choose to get vitamin A capsule or you can get an oil rich in vitamin A. Now, if you're going to use the vitamin A capsule on your skin, you got to mix it with a carrier oil because it's so strong and it could irritate the skin if you use it directly on the skin. One teaspoon of any carrier oil like the avocado oil to only two drops or one small capsule of the vitamin A. You can mix those together and use it you also have cacao oil which is high in vitamin A if you know nothing about vitamin A well vitamin A is really retinol if you go outside in the market skincare world you're gonna see retinol retina A all of that is vitamin A okay and vitamin A you're gonna find in cacao oil rose oil um, you're also gonna find um, vitamin A in the bachi oil that we just spoke about that they're now calling the new alternative to retinol really good for the skin blend them up use them separately on the skin except for the vitamin A capsule and you're on your way to boots in the collagen softer and a younger looking skin so there you have it seven simple I know it's not seven it's really 14 a little over 14 remedies because I give a facial mask and I gave a facial oil blend for each and every skin concern what did you miss you mix the acne remedy we spoke about remedies that you can use for getting rid of your acne mixing over oil aloe vera gel and tea tree oil you can also mix some honey with some charcoal and you can mix some honey with some sulfur which is not only good for acne but is also good for eczema we spoke about dry skin for dry skin you're using avocado rose water and milk as a facial mask you're also using um, avocado avocado oil rosy oils and some vitamin E oil as a leave-on oil for glowing skin you're gonna be using some turmeric aloe vera and milk washing your face with that and then you're gonna use some carrot oil and some organ oil as a leave-on for dark spot we're mixing potato white potato that is Irish potato that is with turmeric and lemon uh, we're mixing rose hip oil, vitamin E oil, and sweet almond oil as a leave on. For skin tightening, we're using egg white, we're using potato and milk to make a facial mask. We're also using rose hip oil and squalene oil as a leave on. We're using for oily skin, we're using oatmeal, we're using flour, or we're using rice, mixing it with lemon juice and honey and orange zest make a facial mask and we're using oil such as grapeseed oil and cucumber seed oil for leave-on oil for collagen we're mixing clay any form of a clay 
with carrot juice and aloe vera gel. We're also using avocado and honey and milk to wash our face. For leave-on oil for collagen, we're using cacao oil, rosehip oil, vitamin E oil. So there you have it, seven simple remedies for your facial concern. So now we're gonna chat a little bit. If you have any question, now you can go ahead and ask all the question you want about your skin concern. And if you're just joining, you didn't give the video a thumbs up, show some love to our channel by thumbs in the video hub, comment so we can give you your shout out and feel free to ask your question. So thumbs it up. That's how the system know you like the chat or you enjoy or you learn something by thumbs in it up that helps a lot. Now, I don't know what happened. Oh, um, okay, <laughs> my thing just flashed me off a while ago. Anyway, we are gonna take some questions. So go ahead and ask your questions. And thank you for that, Juliana. Golden Child, I would like to know what scrub I can use to lighten. Okay, and guess what? Um, I used to make those videos, Golden Child, because I know the needs are there for it, but I don't make them anymore because the system does not like those kind of a videos. But I, the old videos are still on the channel. Go on my channel page and um, just put it up. Uh, Go on my channel page in the search or just go on Google, put what you're looking for with my with Chichi Beauty at the end of it and the videos will come up, okay? I'm not sure if I have a folder, but I don't talk about it much sometimes. I'm even scared of using the word, to be honest, because it just doesn't like those videos anymore, all right? But um, anything that like some brown sugar, I like a good rice blend. You blend the rice, you squeeze some lemon juice in it, and or the lemon zest. You put a little olive oil in it, and you use that to exfoliate. The reason why I like the rice because it don't really irritate the skin, and you use that to exfoliate for two to three minutes. Be careful of the granules; get into where it's not supposed to go, and rinse off. Another thing that is good. You can use the tomato mixture with some brown sugar and exfoliate the area. You got to use this all the time, okay? And when you're just starting out, just use it every day for a week. And then you cut down to two to three times per week, okay? I think um, Lucy is kind enough to find a recipe for you. So thank you so much for that, Lucy. Now, um, between the skin pigmentation, skin tightening, and collagen, I haven't heard anywhere you use yogurt and raw honey i bought what do i use the raw honey and yogurt i okay listen you have honey you have yogurt amazing if you're looking to brighten the skin one tablespoon of yogurt half a teaspoon of turmeric powder with it as a matter of fact the recipe i'm going to post tomorrow of similar ingredient and um a teaspoon of honey mix all of that together and use that on your face Rub it all over your face, your neck. It's going to help to brighten the skin. Not only that, it's going to help to hydrate the skin. And if you have large pores, this is a good mixture that's going to help to seep into the pores and clean it out with its exfoliating properties. Really, really good. The base you have, the yogurt, get a tablespoon of yogurt. If you have aloe vera gel, put a teaspoon of aloe vera gel in that yogurt, blend that up, and you can tip a little bit of honey again in it good to go that's another um recipe for you um you want another honey honey yogurt honey and yogurt recipe here is a good one blend some rice to a powder when you blend the rice pour a little bit of a hot water and we have several videos on the channel pour a little bit of a hot water in that rice reach for your yogurt blend the two together with a dash of honey there you have a skin tightening remedy okay the sky is the limit. You have three really, you two really, really good ingredients for your DIY. A better one, a nicer one. If you have papaya or avocado, get yourself an ounce of papaya or avocado, a tablespoon, and I love this one, so really, a tablespoon of the yogurt, a dash of that honey, blend that up. That facial mask is going to give your skin a natural glow. Really, really good. All right, so we are moving on for the skin pigmentation what would 
is better to use the start from the potato or just the juice okay very very good question very good question i would prefer to use the juice for the pigmentation for the skin tightening i use the starch very very good question go ahead and use the juice for pigmentation and for tightening use the starch very very good question lock it um when using an eye treatment should this be used after or before the moisturizer you're gonna use it before or I know someone was gonna oh, I know I didn't talk anything about the eyes and I'm like okay nobody's just nobody's even noticing that we're not talking about the eyes tonight but here you come with the question but this is an extremely good question whatever you're using on your eyes apply it on your eyes before you use your moisturizer or anything else the reason for that you sometimes when you use your moisturizer you forget you rub it over your eyes. So when you apply your eye serum, your eye cream, whatever you're using around the eyes first, if another products that your product that you're using touch your eyes, you already have your base there already for your eyes. So definitely a very, very good question. Can I use a pumpkin to make a face mask? Works like a charm, rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, and it also contains a bit of a vitamin E. Pumpkin will help to brighten the skin also. It's a really good bud. For the pumpkin, I like to blanch the pumpkin first, okay? I do not like to just grate it, juice it, and use it. I like to blanch it. You can, like what we call half cook. You can put some water on, let it boil up, drop that pumpkin in it, and leave it there for about 10 minutes or you can let it you know put it in the pot let the pot boil up and turn off the stove right away that's what we're calling blanching and then you're gonna blend it if you don't have a blender you grate it extract the juice and use it in your facial mask mix it with some yogurt works like a charm really really good I don't use a lot of pumpkin on you know because I like to eat it and I have to like go to a special place to get it because I'm very picky when it comes on to my pumpkin I like when it's really really dry and I don't like when it's sweet anyway just a love affair with pumpkin I have some old remedies on the channel using the pumpkin because I used to use it a lot old remedies but you have to go way back don't know if the title say pumpkin or ever which would make it a little harder to find I promise I'll make a new one for you I used to use it like a lot a lot on my skin all right so um wrinkle complain what remedy and Mimi you I know you just come so for wrinkle you're gonna use some skin tightening for skin tightening you're gonna use egg white and milk potato and milk or an oil for wrinkles rich in vitamin A so you're gonna use like cake oil Bachi oil, you can also use rosy oil. We have a lot of oil blend for anti aging and wrinkle on the channel that you can check out. And Lucy also posted some link earlier, so just scroll back and then you'll find some remedies. All right, um, laugh lines, and we talk about that so much for the laugh lines. I suggest that you use a skin tightening remedy, but I always recommend. For you to massage the skin clay mask is good for the laugh line the potato starch mask is good for the laugh line I post a video this week using flour that is good for tightening the skin and it's also is good for the laugh line check out the video just go on my channel page and look at the videos that I post this week and you're gonna find a really really good one for laugh lines okay all right so that's my time um, what about fine lines, which we just laugh lines and wrinkles, they're all in the same happy family. All right, so oh, Lucy found it pumpkin avocado lemon mask. Ooh, see, I told you the recipes are there. Really, really good one. Check it out. And um, Dianis, Dianis. Um, thank you for that all right so my time is up I promise that I wasn't gonna have the show for no more than an hour tonight right now I'm running over 13 minutes I might not you know and guess what for my weight loss people we're gonna be on Tuesday Tuesday we're coming on for the weight loss challenge which we're gonna start the new challenge on Wednesday for the skincare people watch tomorrow tomorrow night I'm gonna be on I'm gonna come on tomorrow night and we have some announcement to make tomorrow night so you don't want to miss tomorrow's show okay tomorrow night we're gonna be on 7 30 p.m. 
And yes, our shop is also coming out. We have some announcement to make tomorrow night, so do not miss tomorrow's show. Very, very important. If you watch the show, hi, Terran, how are you? If you watch the show tonight, you like the show tonight, watch tomorrow. We have some announcement, and we have some good stuff coming. So come on tomorrow night and spend an hour with us. We're going to talk about skincare and some other things, okay? All right, so my time is up. I got to go. It's Friday night. You know, Friday night, um, hear this joke now. Friday night a year ago, I would be like, oh, let me get the show over because it's Friday night. I'm going to go eat out or something. Friday night now, I was like, oh, it's Friday night. Don't know what I'm going to do after the show. <laughs> anyway, let's just keep our finger crossed that things is going to change for us, you know, so we could get back to normal life. Although for me, I really don't think that we're going to get back to normal, normal, normal for a while or even for the rest of the year. But keep our finger crossed that at least, you know, going on to next year or so, we can, we'll be able to get back to normal where you work hard all week. You can actually go out and sit and eat something and feel comfortable. Or you can go watch a movie or you can, you know, you know just the little things that we normally do, like, you know, hang out with friends without feeling like you know anyway hopefully hopefully but for the time being i suggest that you make your home somewhere that you're happy to be at okay for the closet that you haven't cleaned out forever and forever go clean it out get a, a little piece of stool fix up some old furniture make it look good and try to enjoy your home because after stuck in that home for one year and going into this year again, we can see that we're going to summer coming up. A lot of us are still going to be home. You know, you might be able to run out here and come back home, but it's still not going to be like, oh, you're going, you're going to go to the amusement park and ride in waterfall. And, you know, you understand what I'm saying. So just make the best of being home for the time being. Treat yourself, you know, treat yourself. Find something to do. Do you give your skin a facial? Do your nails? I'm going to have a nail video coming up next week because for those of you who are new, you might not know that I like my nails done up and look nice. Haven't done that for over a year. So no complaint from my subscribers. Everybody's enjoying, but I'm going to paint my nails next week. So we're going to have a nail video coming up. So stay tuned for that. And I'm doing it myself. Back to the old roots. All right. So just do something fun this weekend and take care of yourself. You know, take care of yourself. Love yourself. Smile and just de-stress yourself. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to see you tomorrow night. So don't miss it. Set your clock. Set your timer. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that is going to take us to what, Lucy? 4.30? 4 30 p.m pacific time okay all right thank you so much for watching be good to yourself and i see you very soon bye bye when the world's open back up we will have great skin that's 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 the trick that is the plan when you start to go for instance like some people you haven't seen for a year if you stay home and you really take care of yourself you try to lose the weight you fix your skin when they see you after the years when everything is open back they're gonna be like whoa where have you been you know so that is the that is the plan thank you all have a good night everyone bye bye or a good morning or a good day <laughs>